Hi guys, my name is Kenny Jemsicle and welcome to episode 15 of Mean Girls Sorority Rush. So at the end of last episode we were taking part in the quiz for the Greek games and we've got to a tiebreaker situation. So let's go ahead and see what happens, let's see if we win. So here's Karen, our little quiz master. Your final question to determine the winning house of this year's Greek games is... Where's my lip gloss? Um, do you have a purse maybe? Wait, sorry, that wasn't the question. Okay, <laughs> three of our contestants tonight went to the same high school right here in Evanston. Name that high school. Oh, Michelle, did she get it right? Gre Regina and Greenard went to the same high school. South Shore High. No. <gasps> I'm sorry, that's super wrong. What? But North Shore High. <gasps> oh no, we lost. That's bad. I told you he loved me. No. Yes, that's correct. The Tapaichi wins this year's Greek Games. I felt for sure we'd win them. No! Which means that not only did Delta Mu Tau lose the games, they're also going to lose their house since they don't get any money. And now they'll have to sleep outside like forest animals. <laughs> Ooh, good news though, I found my lip gloss. <laughs> oh no, this is bad, what are we going to do about this? Oh dear. Everyone's crying, upset, and <laughs> oh no. Oh look, Regina's got an um, angry frown on. Ladies, I just want to say again, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I really thought I had the right answer. Hey, it was a really easy mistake to make. It could have happened to any of us. Well, it didn't happen because of me. Regina? But the girls are right. It's not your fault, Michelle. I was really looking forward to getting to live here next year. I know, it's such a beautiful house. Guys, I do want to honour someone who went above and beyond in the Greek games. Greenoid, you were truly outstanding. You bought shirts for the whole sorority. You worked extra hard with Regina on your dance moves. You wore an amazing outfit at Dancethon. You sported a great dress at the game show and you conducted yourself with grace and poise. You were a model at Delta Mu Tau, so I name you this year's Greek Games MVP. Yay! Everyone's cheering for us. Amazing job. Gotta hand it to you, Greenoid. You came through big. Thanks, guys. It was so much fun to compete with all of you. So what happens to Delta Mu Tau now? We can't pay our bills this month, so we're formally on financial probation. I'll talk to the benefactor again. Hopefully, if I beg enough, he'll donate. In the meantime, let's not do anything to harm Delta Mutar's image. We need to remind him how amazing this sorority is. We're not going to lose the house, are we? It's going to all come good in the end. Green-eyed? It's Janice. Janice? I just wanted to say I'm really sorry you lost the games. I thought you hated sororities. I do, but I care about you. And that's why I wanted to tell you something I dug up for my article. There's a huge cheating scandal in Delta Mutau. What? That can't be. My source confirmed it. Girls have been buying papers. There's a guy on the fourth floor of the library who sells them. I don't believe it. Greenard, this is what I've been waiting for. I've got to publish this. Publish it? That's the last thing the house can afford right now. Tamara is begging alumni for contributions. They'll never donate if there's a scandal. Sorry, Greenoid. I'm warning you because you're my friend, in case you want to drop out before this all goes down. I would never drop out. Those girls are my sisters. I can't believe you'd betray me like this. Betray you? I didn't buy the papers, Greenoid. You know what? Just leave me alone. Fine. Fine. Oh dear. More drama. I heard yelling. Usually that happens when I change my hairstyle. 
Janice has some dirt on Delta Mutau. She's going to publish it. What? That little... Where is she? I don't know. Actually, Mika's party. I'm sure she's going to that. I wasn't sure if I was going to go. Well, you're going now. And I'm coming with you. But you are not going dressed like that. Why not? I think I look really quite nice. We've got to get changed. I still don't see why you're making me change. Because it's Mika's party. And it doesn't matter what your status with him is. You should still make an effort. We look really nice in that yellow dress. What is she talking about? Okay, let's have a little look at all of the others. Plain Jane. Meh. Nerdy Night Out. Meh. It's quite nice. I quite like that actually. Trend setting cutout dress. Ooh. Never thought I'd ask you this, but can I borrow that? It's incredible. Wear it. Yeah, we're going to wear it for 24 gems. This is it. Let's go. I can't bear to look at Gretchen's interior decorating any longer. No oh, worries. Well, yeah, it's a bit. Uh, a bit pink and girly, isn't it? <laughs> How do you think I feel? I have to live with that. You poor thing. You poor, poor thing. <laughs> yeah, we look we look better in that than that yellow number, I think. It's a nice dress. Hey, green-eyed. Cool outfit, dude. Mika's outside. He'll be thrilled you... Janice. Good, you're here. Let me ask you a question. Mm, you're into all that girl power garbage, right? What exactly is the alternative to feminism? That's what I thought. So how do you justify writing an article solely to oppress women? Seriously, Greenoid, you ran to Regina to complain about me. Of course she did. I'm her sister now. I'm targeting the entire Greek system. And for the record, my primary source who's fed me the most information is one of your so-called sisters. I refuse to believe that's true. Believe it, it's a Delta Mutau sister dishing the dirt. Oh my god, this is just you trying to get your pathetic junior high revenge all over again. I said I was sorry for calling you a lesbian. No, you didn't. Because I really shouldn't have to, Janice. You sound super homophobic right now. <laughs> Guys, hang on a second. Oh, thanks, sweetie. I'm almost done here. Listen, I'll sum this up. Go ahead and release the article if you want, but the second you do, all the videos I have of fad crawling all over you during Rush are going straight to Kevin G's inbox. Have fun explaining those. Are you crazy? Nothing's going on with me and Thad. It's not what it looks like in those videos. And it's super hard to explain these things in a long distance relationship, isn't it? What will that accomplish besides hurting somebody that doesn't even deserve it, Regina? Hmm, that's exactly what you're doing for that article. Tit for tat. Greenoid, are you really going to let her pull this? Regina has a point. This has gone too far. Um, ooh, what are we going to do? This has gone too far. Regina, come on. You don't have to resort to blackmail. It's not blackmail if it's for a good cause. Guys, both of you just calm down. You know what? This time, she wins. I won't publish it. I'm not going to hurt Kevin just for the sake of publishing an article. You happy? Obviously. Oh dear. How about you? Are you happy? Janice, come on. I didn't want it to go down like that. Let's just talk this out. You know what? I don't want to talk this out. You're just some brainwashed sorority scrub out like the rest of them. It's harsh. <laughs> Janice, wait! Yeah. Rough night, here comes Mika. Something like that. Can we step outside and talk for a little bit? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. You look awesome. Your hair looks perfect and that outfit. Every girl at my party is trying to figure out where you bought it. Thanks Mika. It's funny, I was having such a weird night. But now you've got me smiling again. Thanks for shaking me out of my bad mood, Mika. Guess I still know how to cheer you up, Jensica. How about a selfie for old times' sake? Aww. So sweet. Happy birthday, by the way. Got everything you wanted? Except one thing. Greenoid, 
I miss you. You're still the first thing I think about every single morning when I wake up. I shouldn't have hit the pause button on our relationship. I want to unpause it. Mika, I don't want to throw away all our history or all the possibilities in our future. I want the break to be over. I know I'm springing this on you and you might need time to think about it. I can wait. Oh, let's kiss Mika. Yay, are we going to get back together? Oh, I still need time to think. Why did we kiss him then? But I wanted you to know I miss you too. That's all I had to hear. Beep, beep. Oh no, this is calm. Oh no, it's an alarm. 11 o'clock? Oh crap, I completely forgot about my paper. You have a paper due? It's due at midnight. It's worth 60% of our grade. Uh oh. What will my mum think if I fail a class? Oh my god, will I get kicked out? Come on, Katie. Pick up, pick up. Crap. What am I going to do? Have we not written this paper? Is that the problem? Or Okay, library, fourth floor. <gasps> We're going to go and buy one. Oh no. Uh oh. Ah, another Delta Mu Tau. The class. Psychology 101, section 103. Excellent. I'll email it to you right away. In the meantime, forget my name. You never gave me your name. <laughs> exactly. Oh. So it is true, the story that Janice found out. Well, well. What do we have here? Oh, did Tamara, like, does she know that we were buying a paper? Or, kind of, I don't really know kind of what happened then. I think that is the, yeah, that is the end of the episode. I can't believe we bought a paper. That's not, like swatty you know gemsical it always does their work and everything and it's oh i can't believe we've done it anyway we'll just wait and see what happens next episode i wonder if we're gonna get back with mika all right thank you for watching give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new here and i will see you guys soon for a new video bye